when we look at people who we deem like intelligent in our society, we tend to look at them as the ones that can take the test the best and they can get yeah. all the fanciest degrees. But the more I live on this planet, the more I realize that some people that are the biggest geniuses in the world are ones that would actually fail a test, but they are so creative and can think outside the box that nobody would have ever thought to create whatever they, they had created. Do you think the brain learns in different ways for different people? I do. I um, So this is my uh, 32nd year of coaching people to have better brains. And it's my life's mission because I had the broken brain. I want to build better, brighter brains. No, yeah. no, no brain left behind. And so in, in our coaching, we actually have for the past few years a way of personalizing people's uh, training based on their specific brain type. Yeah. which is fascinating. Just like there's personalized medicine based maybe about around genetics or personalized nutrition based on someone's microbiome. I figured out that there are there are four brain types. And this I'm really excited about this, you know, because we put the research in the, in the new book. I was going to say this is the new book. Yeah, that, yeah I love this So idea. it's um, Limitless Expanded. The first one did, you know, extreme, very well. I'm very proud of the work. It's kind of like an owner's manual for your brain. Mm -hmm. And it really focuses on accelerated learning and how to read faster, focus better, improve your memory and so much more. But um so I, I pulled to create this assessment, and I, and I can't wait for you and your team to do it also as well. We will. Yeah, it's uh, only a four-minute quiz, and it's kind of like, you know, how some people take quizzes like uh, which Game of Thrones character or Harry Potter yeah. you know, school. Um, this one is uh, I pulled from uh, personality types like Myers-Briggs. I was inspired by various sciences and psychologies, um, left brain, right brain, lateralization, mm -hmm. dominance theory, learning styles. Some people like to learn visually, auditory, kinesthetic, multiple intelligence theory out of Harvard uh, mm -hmm. from Howard Gardner. And so all these different inspired this. And I realized there's a brain code for all of us. Mm. And it's C O D E, which is the acronym. Perfect. And the C is, and I made them fun animals. The C is the cheetah. So the cheetah are the fast actors. And as people listen to this, we put the quote, the quiz free online. Mm -hmm. We used to sell it to companies, uh, but you could have it free. It's just at mybrainanimal.com. There's nothing to buy, and you get a detailed report uh, based on your learning style. So the first one is the fast acting cheetah, and these are people who adapt very quickly. They're mm. strong, uh, have strong intuition, mm. you know, also as well. Um, they, they're very dynamic. The O are the owls, and mm. these are your logical individuals. They love data. They love facts and figures and formulas. You know, they love to, they make decisions differently than a cheetah in terms of how they live, how they eat, um, how they invest, you know, because it's based on their thinking style. Okay. The D are your dolphins, and these are your creative visionaries. These are people who could see a vision, uh, you know, of, of, of their business or their life, maybe where other people can't see it. They have great pattern recognition. They're mm. wonderful problem solvers. They're very creative. And then finally, the E are your elephants, and these are your empaths. Mm. These are the people that hold you know, communities together. They love collaboration. While a lot of people like learning solo, they love to learn social, mm. you know, also as well. And if you think about these different uh, characters, if you will, it also, you see them in pop culture. Like, I don't know, like I mentioned Harry Potter, like Harry Potter would be a cheetah, okay. right? Just going out there, very dynamic, you know, going on on impulse and intuition. Uh, Hermione, you know, the, she, she would be the researcher. She's the owl, right? Reading all those okay. books, very astute. Yeah, um, I think Hagrid, who held the the, the, the friends together, is really the, the elephant. Okay. You know, Dumbledore, if the leader is the visionary, you know, yeah. wrestler. But you see that everywhere. You could take Star Trek, you could take any pop culture that you can relate to. And we, it's, it's interesting because many, we had our team go through it, and like 100% of the people on our team that are in customer support and experience, they're elephants. You know, they're, oh my they're, gosh. They're there to serve. They have high levels of empathy yeah. and they're our community managers. So that's, you know, our, our CFO is a, is an owl. And, oh, and you want that person good. to know data. <laughs> that was a good numbers, choice. Right? Yeah. And you don't want them necessarily to be super creative, but you want them to really. And so it's it's interesting. You know, our CEO, Alexis, for 17 years, she's, she's our creative visionary. She's a dolphin, mm. right? So everybody has their place. So you're getting right people on the bus, but you're making sure everyone's sitting in the right seats also. Can you be, like when I just yeah. hear it explained that way, I see a little bit of myself yeah. in all of that. Yeah, when you when you take the quiz, you'll, you'll get a, a primary and ah. also a secondary. Okay. And it's interesting because it's like with people, it's like I realized after a few decades that it's not how smart we are, it's how are we smart. 
Yeah. It's not how smart your, your significant other is yeah. or your team. It's how are they smart. And every, everyone has a preferred way of, you know, uh, exhibiting that genius. Just like yeah. if you use your right hand, doesn't mean you don't use your left hand. Right. Right. And people tend to stay in their animal type, but they certainly, through discipline and training, could get better in other areas that they're not as strong. It would be really interesting, I'm sure. I, I must have the visionary one in me. Was that the yeah, dolphin? Yeah. Dolphin, yeah. yeah. I resonate a bit with that because where I go now with what you're saying is I think, well, gosh, they should do, teach this in schools. Like, yeah. what if you went into an elementary school and you identified what anim brain yeah. animal or brain type you were, and then you sat in classes accordingly? Because yeah. I can tell you as, as whatever brain type I am, I never did great with just give me a bunch of information, let me regurgitate mm. it back. I always had to ask why. Like, why would that be? Yeah. And once I could solve the why, it stuck in my brain because it made sense. But if you just mm. needed me to shove a bunch of information in and regurgitate out, I, I, I was really bad at that. Yeah. And you're not alone. The human brain doesn't learn best through consumption. It actually learns better through creation and mm. co-creation. Co you know, it's, it's, you can't, it's, it's not like your teachers could push information inside somebody's mind you know but certainly people can pull that information and when it's relevant to them right right and then be able to create with it and pull it out also as well right. and i always thought it was interesting in school much like a lot of you know your expertise it's not it's not taught it's absent in their right. in the curriculum you know for me i realized that the school teaches you what to learn math and history science spanish but there are zero classes on how to learn those subjects yeah. There's no class called focus, like going to somebody, a child or any, any age or stage saying focus or study. That's like going to somebody saying, play the ukulele, who's, who's never taken a class on how to do that. Right. It's just assume we know how to do these things right. So there's no focus or concentration or creativity or problem solving, the financial literacy, but even memory. You know, yeah. I always thought it was strange because it's not just rote memorization because that's not what we teach at all. It's just a very inefficient way of taking information and I'm sure when you were going through school like you know you had to repeat things over and over oh, yeah. again you know until your mind just submits and says okay I realize this is important but it's yeah. a, it's not a very um, efficient way of learning yeah. right um, you know it hasn't changed a lot they say you know we live especially in this area you know an age of I you know, see these autonomous electric cars you know they're developing yeah. technology to go to Mars but our vehicle of choice when it comes to learning is often like a horse and carriage yeah. Or, you know, horse and buggy. It hasn't improved as much as the world has evolved. Right. You know, right. and so, you know, yeah. when, when I'm writing, I'm writing on this uh, brain optimization, how to optimize your sleep and, and, and the best brain foods and all these uh, I mean, mental hygiene things, but also real strategies on something called meta learning, mm. the, the science and art of learning how to learn. I think that if there's one skill that anyone who's watching or listening can master is our ability to learn rapidly and then translate that learning into action. Yeah. Because if you can learn how to focus and understand and read and comprehend and remember everything and implement, you can apply that towards anything. Medicine, right. you know, money, marketing, yes. management, martial yes. arts, Mandarin, everything gets easier. Because you have a formula now. Yeah. So that like the book is, is, you know, almost all methodology on how to do these things, you know, because I, I just wanted to, they say that we're best suited to serve the person we once were. Right. Ooh, you know, and well for me, said. yeah, I, I was that kid that had a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, a lot of embarrassment, didn't have the skills, you know, yeah. thought I was, you know, not smart enough. So, you know, I, I you know, we create our programs, our podcasts, our, our courses, you know, our books, you know, around supporting that person. Because right now it's yeah. tough.